I'm a little bit obsessed with crunchy apples and this time of year, autumn, is a bit like heaven for me. The humble apple can be used in so many different ways, in addition to keeping the doctor away. The best place to get them, local and fresh, it's apple picking time. This is the fruit corner and from late summer to early winter, this orchard is like a giant apple supermarket. And you can walk through here and really get your apples fresh. Pick your own. I think I should have bought a bigger bucket. Now, if you haven't had a tree ripen apple before, they're so much sweeter. They just seem to suck up every bit of what Mother Nature has to offer. The nutrients, the sun. Now, if I was to put this into a crumble, I wouldn't need any sugar. That's how sweet it is. This orchard has been family owned for almost 70 years. And if you get a chance, try and catch up with Bernardine Radici, the granddaughter of Michele Radici, who planted his first tree back here in 1953. So Bernadine, where's Nunu from? Nunu is from Sicily in Italy and he made his way up here in Pickering Brook and he saw his first few apple trees out here and he decided to keep on the tradition of fruit growing. So he was growing uh, apples back in Italy? Yes, he was with his family, or should I say our family over there, yeah. He decided to put in over 500 apple trees. Um, we got the varieties of Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, the Sundowners, and the Pink Ladies behind us. Wonderful, and uh, I can see it's not just apples that you do. I walk past some pretty mean chilli plants. No, certainly not. There's definitely chilli plants out there and a whole range of other vegetables, such as um, spaghetti squash, butternut pumpkin, capsicums, paprika, eggplants. Uh, we've got some cherry tomatoes at the moment. We even grow tomatoes for our posadas and whatnot. And also what you don't have, your neighbours as a Yes, definitely. Well. We love to bring in local grown produce. For example, uh, neighbours grow pears, persimmons, avocados, passion fruit. Amazing. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Why do you leave your apples on the tree to, to ripen? The longer they stay on the tree, the sweeter they get. Mm. And you guys just don't get to experience that. In the shop, you get this, the real sour Granny Smith, which is actually really, really sweet. And you don't get to experience the crisp, crunchy Pink Lady or even the Sundowners, for that matter. Yeah, and I must admit, seeing kids actually realise that the apples don't come from a shop, they come from an orchard That's and a tree it. and a plant. It must be amazing. It is. It's just so fantastic to see. And just their faces light up and then the parents just sitting back, watching them, taking photos, enjoying the experience themselves. There is a farm gate shop here if you're a bit pressed for time, or not that great at climbing trees. What I love about this, it's just a whole experience. As Bernadine said earlier, you know, if you want your kids to know where your food comes from, this is gold, or green, or pink, purple, orange. I've also popped up the menu for my favourite apple fennel salad on the website and there's all the details for the fruit corner as well. 